instinctive real-time SEMG-based control of a prosthetic hand with reduced data acquisition and embedded deep learning training. Achieving instinctive and multi-grasp control of prosthetic hands typically requires many sensors that can be costly and time-consuming to position, with their signals difficult to classify, which need high computational requirements. In this paper, we show that great results from embedded instinctive multi-grasp control can be achieved with few low-cost sensors, a simple neural network, and a small amount of training data. The presented controller is implemented in an enhanced version of the Olympic prosthetic hand. We have added position and torque sensors to provide accurate control of the hand and a custom PCB housing the control and sensor circuits. We have also designed a new modular wrist with increased electrical connections for the new sensors. A new forearm socket is constructed using fiberglass to house the custom PCB and the Jetson Nano. All the components inside can slide out for maintenance. Instead of trying to understand the steady current state of the hand at a signal timestamp, we target a change of state action, i.e. from relaxed to power grasp, a hold action, or vice versa, a release action. Each grasp has its own unique hold action to engage the corresponding grasp and together they share a single release action to go back to the relaxed state. The CNN classifier looks at a one and a half second window of the continuous EMG signal and tries to recognize the action. Here are the seven targeted grasps and gestures, enabling it to perform a variety of daily tasks. The first experiment is about the data collection and training of the CNN. Five non-disabled users were asked to perform 30 repetitions of each grasp in turn. A four second interval before and between the 30 repetitions was used to allow the users to rest and prepare for the next repetition. The overall accuracy of the CNN is 96.68% and took 54 seconds to train. All of the grasps have a sensitivity greater than 90% with lateral pinch and idle showing the greatest sensitivity and specificity. Tripod and tool grips show the worst performance. Experiment two tests the rollout of the classifier under a continuous signal in real time. Users performed 90 grasps in total, each in a random determined order with 15 repetitions for the six targeted grasps and gestures. Correctness and latency of the classifications are measured. The accuracy increases throughout the 90 repetitions. If we look at the accuracy over a 30 repetition window, we see the average accuracy started at 66% and gradually increased to 93% by the end. The average latency of a correct grasp is at 1.097 seconds. Here, we show a user demonstrating each function of the controller. In this paper, we present a low-cost embedded SEMG-based intuitive grasping prosthetic hand control system. All of the electrical and mechanical hardware are compact and can fit inside a forearm socket. Data collection, CNN training and classification, and motor control all run on the embedded Jetson Nano. Results show the entire system is easy to set up, achieves state-of-the-art classification accuracy, and successfully achieves several real life tasks. Thank you for watching.